Hi everyone, Emily here. Welcome to my home. I just feel like playing with some paper and so I thought I would get on here, do a video and give you a little bit of inspiration. Okay, that Mod Podge is not open. I'm going to use this Mod Podge. This is glossy and I do have some uh, Elmer's glue mixed with water, but I think I just want to use this today. Oh my goodness, I can hear my grandson in the background. I think he shows up in most of my videos. He's just down there. He loves to hear himself. Thinks he's He-Man. Anyway, I'm just going to um, put this all around my paper. And then I have um, some cray paper and I have some napkins. So I'm going to take my napkin. I don't know where it came from. A fast food restaurant. And I'm just, you know what, I could um, take it one more layer, so I think I will. And I'm just going to put the whole thing over the top. And I'm going to use this brown kind of as my background. And I did not, uh, I did not crumble it. So there is some wrinkles, which is fine because I like that, but I didn't crumble it. I am planning on putting maybe a little bit of that uh cray paper this that you put in packages and put a few pieces over the top kind of make it like a collage that's my goal I have never done this before but I just wanted to do some paper stuff today and then I'll use this as a card in one of my junk journals and I don't know why but I do like calling them junk journals because they're just uh, full of stuff it's full of chaos and I love that full of my chaos. And this just goes on. I'm not like pressing really hard and this is just a Dollar Tree paintbrush. That's really not um, really what I want to say. Rough. Bristly. So I think I'm just going to tear some pieces and stick them on. I think I'm going to leave that corner brown and uh, I just find it easy just to put dots of this stuff out and then I'm just going to turn this over so it stays on there look at that and when it dries it's going to be nice and stiff and pretty I just tore little pieces off my big pieces. I got these at um, Hobby Lobby. And I got a big package for like three bucks. All different colors. I think these are like five or six different colors, which is really nice. I bought some at Walmart and it was uh, $2 just for one piece, one color. And uh, this was... Uh, two dollars and this was more cost efficient to get quite a few for three and you can't keep going over it and over it or you will rip the paper purple is kind of flat this one is going to be all crinkly just going to like lay it over there isn't that pretty and I have no rhyme or reason. I'm just like goobering it up everywhere. Now this is on a index card. Sorry, I didn't show you that. So one piece, one side is blank and that's the side I'm doing my creation on. And the other side has lines. So you could use it in your junk journal for people to write on. Or yourself. If you're making it for yourself, that's great. I um, did have a yard sale over the weekend. This last weekend. Well, today's Sunday. So the last two days. I can't tell you how ecstatically happy and proud of myself I am. I did uh, put my books out there for sale that I've been working on and did videos on. Oh, I want the I want the thinnest pieces possible, and uh, they sold. And I was just ecstatically happy. And the young lady 
and her mother were doing them themselves at home and brought them for inspiration. And when they said the word inspiration, I was just like, I can't even tell you how good that made me feel. And that they liked my little books that you guys have been watching me do. And uh, it's just the best feeling to know that I love doing this and someone found my stuff worthy of purchasing. That is a wonderful feeling. Just like when you give a gift to someone and they actually love it and you made it, that's a great feeling too. I know I gave a junk, a junk journal, a little tiny one, a thin one to my friend who I really haven't shown what I do with these. And uh, she was just like, oh my God, that's so amazing. And I was just like, really? You liked it? I just didn't think she would. So that made me feel good too. Okay. I don't want to cover everything. And leaving it in here, I feel like I'm not wasting. Wasting it, if that makes sense. They're pretty. Let's see, do I need one more piece? Okay. Maybe a purple. Just a little piece. And this junk journaling is awesome because, you know, you just rip stuff up and uh, you can just use whatever's left later. And uh, this is really relaxing and fun to me, so I might just go ahead and make a few of these up to put back. I like to do that, and it just makes it so much easier when you're doing uh, a junk journal and you're putting stuff in it. When you can just reach in your stash and pull something out. There. I like that. Whoops. Okay. So, I want to let it dry. I also really am anxious to get this paper off the sides. So let's see if I can just, it's nice and wet. Yes, so it's coming off really good. And I think after it dries, I might, well, you know what? I think I'm just gonna press this down with my fingers and I'm not gonna press down, I'm gonna like pet it. And then when it's totally dry, I can uh, come back and Cut all that off. So I'm just going to lightly pat it down. Because I really don't want any of that index card to show on the side. And now that I said that, there's a piece right there that's showing. Oh well. Jinxed myself. Plus it is very sticky. <laughs> and the wind's blowing my paper everywhere. Okay. I'm going to do this, and now I can put it in the window, my bedroom, my room, my work room, my craft slash bedroom is upstairs, which is really nice because I get a very nice breeze and things dry super quick. Now, I can feel that that's drying and there's some bubbles underneath. So I'm just going to put a little bit more glue on here. And I'm very generous with my glue. And I rubbed all this. I rubbed all this down so it feels like it's down pretty good. And I use my finger. It's just this side right here. It didn't feel like it. See, I can lift it up. So I'm going to put some more glue under there. Okay. Oh yeah, that helped a lot. So if you have something that's not staying down, just put some more glue under it. And the brown um, napkin underneath, I really like the way that looks. And then I have my lines on the other side. So I think I'm going to let this dry and let's go ahead and do another project. Okay. I love these index cards. You can decorate them up pretty quick when you just have a hankering and you don't have much time. 
or you have lots of time and you just feel like creating and you don't want to spend a lot of time on one project. Um, the lines run this way, so that's why I'm turning my page this way. Sometimes I do decorate them this way. You can still turn them over and write on them. Um, it's, you know, you can decorate them any way you want. So, last night, I was thinking of something else that I wanted to do. So I've got my paper, uh, my paints out. I am not using anything fancy or expensive. This is from the Dollar Tree. It's washable, which means that, you know, it's going to be kind of see-through on here because it's not acrylic. Oh, this is acrylic paint. That's from the Dollar Tree. Then I have these little ones that I got at Walmart. And, you know, I don't think they're much more than a dollar. I, this is really old, so I don't know how much it is now. And this is glitter paint. And um, I don't know where this came from. It could have been the Dollar Tree. I don't know. I don't use it very much, so it's pretty full. But it's old, too. So, what I decided I wanted to do... You know what? I think I need one more color. I keep everything close to my chair. So I'm going to use this red from the Dollar Tree. Now, I like watercolors because they, oh, this one's brand new. They, uh, they can be transparent, where acrylic paint really isn't. And this is super good if you want to, uh, like, put on a paper, page of a book or something, and you want to be able to see the writing underneath, but you still want it to look covered, so you can use it for a junk journal. So my plan is just to put a couple of little spots on. You know how you see people um, make pictures? Oh my goodness, what happened here? Oh. Oh, it looks like my lid went in there. So maybe I won't be using this color until I get this out. My fingers are getting all painted up and that is part of the fun, I think. There we go. Okay, I got a trash can. I better put this in there before I get it all over. I really do think that part of the fun of doing this is making a mess. And then I sometimes can't take it anymore. And then I'll just take some time to clean it all up. Haven't done that yet today. Or I got tired of looking at this mess. Or last night. Please go to my uh, last video I made oops oh my goodness I made some tickets and I think they came out really cute I'm really excited to use them in one of my junk journals Ooh, that pretty that pink that purple is pretty oh this is really watery and I think I'm gonna save the glitter for the top so now I'm just going to and I'm using the same one with that had the glue on it just because, why not? It's not going to hurt anything. And I'm, I don't think I'm going to go all the way to the edge. Well, okay, I just got it all over. I might. But I'm not really worried about the strokes. Of course, if I just went one way, you'd be able to see the difference between the colors better. I like the way the colors are all mixed, and it's very thick and goobery looking. I'm sorry, let me get in frame. I like that look. I feel like I need yellow. Let's see. Oh, I have these. They're just acrylic, and they're little rounds. I got them on Timu for... Uh, the circle art, which I did do some of those, and this is not showing up very well. Let me 
Let me get me another. One of these, and I think I'm going to just put them on here. Okay, they are showing up on here a little bit. I don't know if you can see this real well, but these little dots, these are making little dots. And I'll use this for a different project. Now it's got a little bit of a decoration on it. Okay, so now I think I want something round. I have this lid. That has my extra diamond arts in it from when I do diamond art. So I do use these on my projects also. So I'm going to take the lid. And I'm just going to... Oh, you know what? That's not showing up very well. Oh, that one did. So I'm moving it back and forth a little bit. Because I can f tell that this paint is starting to dry. Look at that. Okay, so I wiped it off. I'm going to put this back on. Got glue on me. You know, it's kind of fun to pull glue off your fingers. So, this page, let's see. What else do I have on my desk here? Okay, I got a lot of stuff on my desk, but I don't see nothing that's like standing out to me. Oh, I have these pearl stickers. I'm gonna grab these. These will look pretty on here should let it dry there's just something it's just there's just something missing that I feel like oh my glitter and I have yellow I think I want yellow on here so let's see here I'm gonna take this yellow paint Put it on here. Now I want to find something, some shape. I think I have this lid. I have these itty bitty tiny, oops, <laughs> they're little itty bitty tiny paper clips. That's what they are. Sorry, brain, brain fog. And uh, I did buy those here in Ankeny at the Uh, scrapbook store here. I can't remember what I paid for them, but since I did pay a bit for them, I'm like, I don't want to use them. <laughs> so I only put them in some special things. See how nice that goes on this? It's like a Tupperware lid. Wow, that's really standing out. I really like it. And now I'll have this on my piece of paper when I get ready to use it for something. And you could use, you know, your stamps. You could use just about anything. I do like that. Okay. I think I want to stop there. Wipe that off on my, my little towel. And I just keep washing these towels and I don't worry about the stains on them. Of course, they don't look as bad as they could look because most of this paint washes off. But that yellow is acrylic. Okay, so now I'm just going to put a couple of spots of my glitter glue. And 
and I'm going to use my paintbrush I haven't used yet. And I'm just going to smear it around a little bit. I'm going to dab it. There we go. This is so pretty. There. Isn't that pretty? You could just do whatever you want, of course. It's just whatever's in your head, because you're probably looking at this thinking, oh, you need something there, you need something here. Do your own thing. It's like part of the best part. Of doing junk journaling is just being you. Maybe you like to use blacks. You know, who knows? Everyone's different. Okay, now I'm just going to go crazy and start. Look at that. I like that look. With those little circles. Yep. I like it. Oh, I just got paint on my face. Okay. Now I'm going to grab... I had... I have this little card that I had earrings on, so I'm just going to take it. And I'm just going to go like this a little bit. Yeah, I can tell this paint's drying already. So I just put some lines through it. Isn't that pretty? It's so collage-ish. And so the paper, of course, it is paper, so it feels really wet. So I'm going to put it in the window to dry. And then when it's done, I'll see how stiff it is. And I might want to put like an, ooh, there's some on that side. I like it. I might want to, you know, put some flowers or some stickers on the other side when you write it. But these make great cards to just set in your junk journal. I'm going to let it sit right here and dry. And I want to tell you thank you for tuning in for this short video of just a little inspiration so that you can do something fun today. Remember that you're awesome. Stay safe and I'll be back soon. Bye.